Hi everyone, uh, welcome to uh, the second Flash tutorial uh, for your online presentation slash CV. Uh, and in this tutorial we're going to look at buttons, uh, setting up um, your presentations so the buttons click through to certain frames uh, or pages, and also looking at uh, movie clips and doing animations within animations. Okay, so let's get started. So if we click Action Script 2, create a new document, uh, let's create file size is 650 by 500 and also the frames <coughs> per second up to 30 and there we go that's the document we want uh, now we looked at movie clips last week um, in a little more depth and today I'm going to start with buttons so I'm just going to quickly draw out uh, a rectangle here in black so if I <coughs> click that right click and go to convert to symbol and call that just call it BT1 for button one. Okay, uh, and there we have a very simple button. So if I come to the library, there's my button in there. Now if I double click to go into this button, you can see that I've got four states. I've got up, which is how the button looks when you're not touching it or not doing anything to it, it's just on screen. Over, which is when uh, you hover over the button, what happens then? Down is when you click the button and hit um, is the area um, in which that when you roll the mouse uh, you can you can click the button or, or activate it really. So I'm just going to copy these frames uh, into over, up, down and hit. Um, so let's make a couple of changes here. So maybe on down uh, I can change the colour <coughs> and then um, I come to over now. I want to drop in an animation here. So this is where now we start to look at uh, movie clips within movie clips uh, and animations within animations. Um, so obviously to make this animate, I'm going to need um, to make it a movie clip. So if I just right click this shape here, convert to symbol, and I'll call this um, let's call this MC uh, button. So movie clip inside button click, I'll call it BT1 even, click OK, uh, there we go. Now if I double click into this, now I've got my own time frame because I'm inside a movie clip, so now I can start to make this animate. So obviously this is still a shape, so I'm going to need to create another movie clip, convert to symbol, so I'll call this uh, MC BT1 AN, so movie clip button 1 animation, click OK. Now all I'm going to do with this, if I come to 15, insert a keyframe, <clears throat> and push this up to there, and then if I copy this frame here, and maybe come to 30, paste frame. So now I've got my three piece of movement there, so if I just add in my classic tweens, and there we go. Now what I'm going to do is insert keyframe there and remove this one just because now from 29 so you've got 29 there and when you come back to 1 it goes to the bottom so you've got a seamless motion there so that's all well and good um, come back to scene 1 and if I just test that so I've got to control test movie test and you can see I've got my button there when I roll over um, it does that indefinitely because I put no stops in and when I click um, it goes blue um, so there we go, very straightforward. Um, now, so how would I use this now to click through to certain pages? Well, okay, so let's go to my library. Um, and before I continue, um, obviously, as I said in the last um, video, uh, the library is uh, a collection of, of every single thing you've created uh, on the artboard. And if you want to make changes to something, for example, say I want to make changes to... Uh, movie clip button one. I don't need to click into that to do it. I can simply just double click there or double click there even on the icon. And there we go. I'm inside now button movie one and I can make the changes there. Um, and this is really sort of helpful if you've got like kind of a movie clip in a movie clip in a movie clip and you're like seven, eight, nine layers down, you know, very much like Inception. Um, you don't need to find it on the canvas and double click, double click, double click. You can simply go to the library go to the level or the movie clip you're after, make the changes, and then when you come back out, then those changes will be made within the movie clip. Um, so just bear that in mind, really. Um, so I want to, let's, let's say, for example, I want to create three pages. So I've got button one here, so let's just drag him out there. 
Um, I'll edit over all this, put it there. And if I drag another one out there, I've got my third one there. You know, I can line this all up later. Uh, come back to scene. Right. So I call that layer buttons. Now what I'm going to do is add um, some pages in. So if I create a new layer, um, and I tell it, well, let's go to 30. It's a keyframe. There we go. Call this layer pages. Now on frame one, I'm just going to simply write page one to properties. Put it there. Right, that's fine. Um, if I then copy frames, go to 15, paste frames, and then I call this page two. And then finally, paste frames, call that page three. So there we go, I've got my three pages there, page one, page two, and page three. So that's also it. And then my buttons then go across all three of those pages. Um, so then, you know, they apply, you know, whatever page I'm on, those buttons will be there, um, uh, you know, to, to use on, on any page I'm on. And then finally then, what I'm gonna do is put my stops in, because at the moment, um, if I were to play this movie, as you can see, it's just flying through um, because there's there's nothing stopping it moving. So if I just create a new layer, um, I've got a keyframe there. So if I right click actions and simply just type in stop command, and if I copy that then command C, page 15, create a new keyframe, actions, remember FN, um, F, oh, sorry, FN, F6 to create a new keyframe. Uh, sorry, Command V, dropping my stop there. And then finally the insert keyframe. And then if I right click, actions, stop. Fantastic. So if I play this now, there we go, the page has stopped. So now I've just got three buttons with nothing attached to them, but at least the pages have stopped. So I can go through to one, two, three and they stop. Now, all that's left to do now is, um, oh, hang on. Before I, sorry, before I continue, I'm going to get rid of this keyframe um, because I don't, it's a frame. There we go. So now when I make changes to this keyframe, it will apply across. I don't need a keyframe there because obviously whatever I change there won't change there. So just need one keyframe with the frames falling across. So I'll make sure I'm on this keyframe here. All I'm going to do, I've got the first button there. Um, and I'm going to, there we go, so make sure that one's selected. And go to actions. And now all I want to do is type in a little bit of action script. So on, release, and it's prompting me there, close brackets open um, brackets and click enter. And then I'm gonna say go to and play, open brackets, um, and I'm gonna say frame one, cause that's on page one, close brackets. And that is all I need. So click off, oh sorry, even if I, let's copy this, sorry. Click X, so now I go to my second one, go to actions. Paste that in. On release, go to and play. Now, second page is on page uh, on frame 15. So I've got go to and play 15. And finally, on my third one, right click actions, go to and play 30. Now, if I test this, command and enter, click page two, it'll go through to page two. Click page three, it goes through page three. And I can click back to page one. And there we go, guys. It's that simple. A little bit of action script applied to these buttons. Um, and you can you could set up as many pages or as many things as you want. Um, let's just change that to stops there. Um, and, you know, it. like I said, that is very simple. But obviously, you know, within now on these certain pages, I can set up um, more. So, you know, if I go to here, page one, I can right click, convert that to a symbol. So let's call this MC page one. Fantastic. Right now, if I double click into there, 
right click, convert it to a second symbol, MC page one alpha, and I'll explain what that means in a minute. Click OK. So let's go to what I'm going to do now is, is fade in page one, uh, the text page one. So if I add in a keyframe there, insert keyframe. And there we go, if I click that, and I come to color effect down here, and you see you've got loads of positions here, you can rotate, you can do all sorts. I'm gonna use the alpha color effect, and I'm gonna say 0% there, and 30% there, 100% uh, there, right? So all I gotta do then, create a classic tween, and now can you see that will fade in when I click onto page one. Obviously I don't want this on loop, I want this to stop, so but there, all I gotta do is right click actions, and just say stop and then once I've done it once it will stop so I come back out then to scene one um, and I press command and enter and there we go page one will now fade in so go to page two page three and if I come back to page one page one fades in and stops um, and this that simple guys you know um, you know, very kind of, you know, you can be as sort of complicated or as simple with this as you want, but it's, it's all, it's just about getting your head around this, this timeline here and, you know, animations with, you know, movie clips within buttons within movie clips within buttons, you know, you've got to kind of just um, use the library to kind of keep track of where everything's going. Um, and when you sort of want to make changes, you know, you can either come, come to the scene and you know, sort of work out what's going on there, so I can double click into there, you know, double click into that one, you know, and you can see it's all far up there, so I've got scene one, MC page one, MC page one alpha, you know, and this will kind of seven, eight, nine, ten times as many as you need, you know, so the deeper you get, the more complicated, it, you know, your animations will get, so that's why it's very important to use the library just to kind of keep track with everything that's going on. And that is very simply, guys, how you set up your... Um, uh, your pages um, for a kind of online portfolio animation. Um, so have a go with that today. Um, you know, drop in your artwork and, and play around with stuff. Um, and when you're ready, move on to the next tutorial.